Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how um, I've created this sequence here that we'll see. So it takes a little bit of time to load up. I'll turn the music off um, in the new sequencer in 4.12. So you may have seen this video on the uh, Grass Tool YouTube on uh, uh, Grass Tool video on the YouTube channel. So um, it's actually a little bit out of focus there. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, it was kind of, I was just trying it out. So anyway, um, this is uh, a bit of a, just an overview, and then we'll create one from scratch. So we can see here that there's this uh, zoom function that's really, really useful. Very cool. And we've got these um, uh, green and red markers here so the green one we set here at zero so that kind of gives the um the value for the zero and here it gives the value for um when we're at the back here i don't know why it's set so far let's say let's set it at minus 200 and so that's sort of the bottom that's this point here and same on this side so i don't know why this this one set so far. Um, I'll just put 1,300, 1,400. There you go. Um, so, and obviously we can move them with a the mouse like this. So that's that's a um, bit of new navigation. And when we've got these buttons here, that's the one to render the movie out. Same as matinee, but. Um, and there's a few things that I've uh, changed as well. Here we create a new camera in the scene. So that's really, 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 really useful. Um, but what uh, I'm going to undo that because I'll show you about the cameras after. And so here, um, those are sort of your display options. Uh, this one, I haven't quite figured out what this one is yet. Enables, disables all the keys. But um, what this is, is um, we can disable that normally if you want to just move things around. But this is like having in 3D Studio Max um, your um, your key set on the, the red button with the key on. So that's really useful. It's really brilliant for creating your keys. So that's um, a big change. And um, yeah, all these things about snapping, that um, takes a little bit of time to see what's going on. But um, it's, it's, it works really, really well. And here we have our curves. So if I um, click here, we can sort of do uh, our points here and then change the um change this sort of the uh the curve that to um to make smooth movements and things like that so um so that's great and we can even add an audio track so the way i did the video i um i put in my cameras in here so you see that's where, where we have our camera cuts and um and then i found the track afterwards and put the video in premiere and uh, are somewhere just not long enough so I had to come back and then I, I imported my audio and it's brilliant because when you press play here my audio track is playing at the same time so I can cut my cameras okay I can cut my cameras exactly where that guitar comes in and it's even plays when you scroll, which is great. It didn't last time. So um, so that's amazing, absolutely amazing. All right, so let's just uh, create one from scratch and then I'll show you all the steps that I used. So we click add level sequence here and I've actually got, uh, just created one, a blank one, uh, just before so I'll just create and let's just create a third one okay I'll just leave the default name so here we just start off by um, adding our camera cuts and 
um, if you don't have a camera in the scene, you can just create one here, or you can, if you've got one already, you can pick one here. So what we, um, the other thing, the, the other new thing that's really brilliant is these new cameras, which you get here. So if you, if you click uh, CAM for your cameras, and then you drag a new camera in here, you get the Cine camera. And this is really, um, really amazing. It works like a new, like a, um, a real camera, basically. Um, so I'll just take that I've renamed already. So you see, I've got my Super 8. So that's like in the olden days. Um, uh, you know, 16 by 9 DSLR or full frame. And then, of course, um, you know, you can... You can just get the do uh, whatever you want here, but instead of being in pixels or um, it's um, in um, in millimeters, the the other thing which um, you want to sort of enable is this cinematic viewport here, which gives you um, your your level uh, properly cropped, and there's this new thing which is gives you the grids. Um, Crosshair. I mean, obviously, the three by three is really what we want uh, for to to work with composition. It's absolutely fantastic. So you really want to make things match up with these corners and stuff, and separate it in threes. And uh, so that's that's really really amazing. The key G enables you to sort of hide all these artifacts, and really you're in sort of game mode here. Um, so if we go back to our Cine camera so I'm just gonna enable the viewport on here and um, I'm gonna open our outline our um, level sequencer I call it sequence <laughs> level sequence okay so the way I do it here is I just sort of dock it onto next to the content browser and I really end up with this sort of uh, Sort of sometimes I sort of manage to dock it onto this side as well. So I've got this long After Effects like interface, which is very, very cool considering we're in a games engine, really. So I'm just going to add through here the camera. And so it goes in automatically in here. Um, 146 yeah so here so there's the we need to add a track to the the camera that we are going to animate so transform and so we've got our locations but what we can do straight away is just create a key here so this is a little bit like after effects and i can just move my slider and create another key and here, so if I've got my key auto key enables, I didn't need to, wouldn't need to create a key, and I move my camera, and that's done. So if I press space, it moves just like um, in Premiere or in After Effects. It's a, <laughs> it really made you feel like you're in a in an ed editing package, basically. So, um, so the, the the beauty also is that now, so I'm just going to extend um, my my work uh, place here, and add a little bit more frames. And so now, this is really my editing. So my cuts don't have to be. So if I drag like this I can start moving this and so I actually sort of slow down my movement um, which I don't have to do this way I can I could move the camera but I found this to be a really great way to kind of tweak things um, so here you'll see I'm, I'm I see the camera so what you need to do is click the uh, little camera button here and then we will see the cut from the scene um, 
So that's going to stop here. And so what I usually do is I um, just press Control W and copy it because it sort of I copy a few cameras like this and it uh, gives them the right names in sequence. So I select that and um, and at this point we can just add another camera. So camera lesson two and same thing. Add a transform track. So let's not add a key, for example, in this one, and we'll just uh, pilot it through here. And see, no, no, see, um, camera lesson two. It doesn't let me. Maybe because I didn't create a key. I found that I could. So, for example, I'll show you uh, the other way I worked is that with two panes, so I can have my um, sequence playing in here and this is my ver um, my um, my my viewport my uh, perspective seems <laughs> I can't find my word so there you go and so now I'm moving my camera so um, let's do another key and then I'm just gonna move my camera over there and so although I can animate it in this viewport, I can't in here. Um, maybe because I'm in the camera cuts, actually. So if I go into, if I select this, if I click this camera, ah oh yes, see, then I can. So I'm on my key here, and then even sort of say I create another key, I just move, and you see, poof, I created another key because I've got this auto key enabled. Auto key animated, I guess, is going to add keys on anything that's already got keys, and um, to prevent um, mistakes, you can disable them all. So here, I'm going to go back to um, my layer of just the one, um, and so if you see uh, the the um, the blur here, I didn't do anything we just put the camera straight in so that's the camera tool so here is where we control the focus settings and I played for ages with this um, so you can change your aperture which is going to make everything uh, so if we use real world values 16 22 then we're going to get uh, much sharper values, but if we want to uh, keep our aperture really open and change the uh, focus distance, so then we can uh, bring that back, bring that forward, and get our lovely cinematic shot. Um, so obviously my... Uh, <laughs> My animation is going to be all over the place here, but let's let's delete this key and keep that one. So see, I find that that still that's quite fast. So instead of fiddling with the cameras, I'm just going to. Um, move this key over there and that's going to slow down my movement drastically and uh, and so on so we can keep adding so I'm just gonna I guess you could 500 I can make it all the way 2000 couldn't I a bit more gen generous 1200 we're in real time no rendering time isn't that amazing so um oh, there you go um so we can you know we can just sort of keep going there and add more cameras this way camera three um and then we can just sort of edit them so 
I'll let you carry on on your own um, list. I'll just um, tell you a couple more things in here. So we've got our transform and um, so obviously if we want to animate our focus distance here then we can do so in here. So if I press shift and click on this key then the uh, marker will jump to that key and that enables me to uh, create a new key here and then so this is where we want our snaps to be enabled and I'm gonna hopefully I found that end bit I couldn't snap to so um, so I'll just so but normally it snaps to the keys oh well sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't I guess it's all a little bit under development but so if I create another key for my aperture and change for my uh, focus and then change the focus distance I don't know how far I need to put it there you go on the plants and then focus is gone we'll delete that delete values I don't want and then there you go so oh There you go. It's a, it's just a completely new way of working in Unreal Engine, and it works brilliantly. So when you're done, you just click this uh, render movie, and um, it's like in Matinee. So you just select your frame rate that you've already got in here. So I found myself changing this over and over again, and I found it. I can just change it here and so that puts that value here and yes yeah, so this is how we resolve this problem I'll show you what the problem is capture movie okay and we start recording and the uh, the level isn't loaded yet especially with all these um, this vegetation and everything so um, and also I'm working on a laptop here which handles it fine uh, but um, it takes a little bit while um, a little while to load I guess maybe it'll be faster on the uh, desktop so what I've done is just move this green bar back I've actually sort of did a, done a few tests beforehand to see how long it's going to take so I sort of load it count how long it takes and then uh, move my green bar accordingly backwards and so if now we say capture movie um, it sort of loads on the default camera I guess and um, starts loading so it's not actually recording yet um, because it's not reached zero and when it reaches zero so nearly there and so we could start now and hopefully it's going to start very soon here we go so now it's recording great there you go so um carry on set up loads of cameras in your level and have fun